Uh, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Suraj, uh, fellow friends. Today, uh, um, uh, Amy and I will be presenting our presentations on the communication system in healthcare, uh, specifically on the software electronic health records. So uh, here are the outlines. First, we'll be uh, introducing um, the communications uh, system. Second, electronic health records. Third, implementation. Fourth, uh, benefits and challenges. Next, impact. Um, in, the, in addition, uh, the EHR, then, now, and future. And lastly, conclusion. Now, the World Health Organization has a clear position concerning the evidence for e-health in general. Already in 2025, uh, the WHO noted the potential impact that advances in information and communication technologies could have uh, on healthcare delivery. 10 years later, the WHO put this straight by stating several advantages of electronic health records in the report of the third global survey on e-health, which was produced by the Global Observatory for e-health, that is EHRs uh, improve the quality uh, accuracy and timelessness of patient information at the point of care. Now, the EH, uh, EHRS also provide insights into healthcare costs, utilization, and outcomes. In addition, EHR, uh, the electronic health records promote uh, quality of care, reduce costs, support patient mobility, increase reliability of information, and provide access to patient information to multiple healthcare providers. Finally, analysis from EHR data can highlight areas of concern and health services delivery. Uh, here is the figure one, shows the interconnection of communication system in healthcare setting. Next, I pass to my friend, uh, Dini. Okay, thank you, Nick. And also to uh, to lecturer. Okay, now the electronic health record progress in information technology is a real and unavoidable fact. It plays an important role in the healthcare sector regarding its final goal, healthcare. In this sector, his scope of action covers various areas such as, as the health information system, telemedicine, biological signal processing, in which is included in medical image processing, security health information, etc. Information and communication technologies increase use in healthcare organization, organization presents a pattern that is similar to what happened in major companies that rely in a well-developed IT infrastructure. Okay, next, the use of web technologies, data, database system, and network infrastructure are some initiatives that affect both the practice and management of healthcare market. Information and communication technology has become an essential part of daily work of clinicians. They can document diagnostic investigation and medical treatment, uh, provide clinical decision support and facilitate communication between healthcare personnel. In addition, there is a growing demand to extract large data sets from the EHR for administrative reporting, clinical audits, and research. Okay, so figure two shows an example of electro electronic health record software used in the healthcare facility. Okay, this figure three shows another example or exa another example of HER. Okay, next I'll be passing back to Nick. Yeah, thank you, Dini. Now, EH, uh, the electronic health records accelerate uh, access to information and have the potential to upgrade clinical workflow. They also have the capacity to support other associated activities by means of various tools, such as decision support system and intelligence system. The electronic health record acquisition is one of the most important decisions for healthcare organization 
because despite the financial and other initiative or incentive provided by the government, the adoption of the EHR remain problematic. In Europe, 19 out of uh, 33 countries are still at the planning stage of the development and implementa implementation process of patient summary and EHR-like system. Despite of the potential benefits of electronic health records, implement of this technology facing the barriers or with barriers and restriction, which the most of these are cost constraint, technical limitations, standardization limits, uh, attitudinal uh, constraint behavior of individuals and organizational constraints. Now figure four shows the integrated personal health record which is part of the electronic health record system. Now I pass to Dini. Okay. <clears throat> now we are going to talk about the about the benefits and also the challenges. So there are of course many problems faced during the, the process of using the electronic health record system, but the benefit outweigh them and hence justifying their use. So the EHR empowers the patient and supports care between their visit. EHR can eliminate of tons of paper records and also extra films. There could be reduction in paper use, uh, transportation pool, water consumption, and also toxic chemical. This could in turn help in uh, reducing the environmental footprint. Since EHR are digital, digital record, we store complete medical history of patient. It is important that is a proper security so that no one can misuse the data. So next, uh, we have uh, the next advantage would be this, despite the advantage of EHR, the adoption rate is still low. There is less uh, acceptance by the physician due to high initial investment, many healthcare centers with uh, lesser beds found it difficult to imp implement as the, the return on investment would take too long when compared to large hospital. Other challenges were uh, to train the staff, nurses and doctors and encourage them to use electronic record system. Uh, it is also a challenge to maintain the security of patient record and not allow any misuse of the available information. Okay, so figure five shows the benefit of EHR. As we can see here, there's a lot of uh, benefit. Okay. So figure six shows a survey done to assess the safety of EHR. Okay, so one in five have noticed an error in the electronic healthcare. So here we can see the data that has been uh, collected. Okay. So next I'll be passing back to Nick. Yeah, thank you, Dini. Now the impact of EHR system can transform the way healthcare is delivered when these technologies are designed, implemented, and used appropriately. Designed and used inappropriately, the EHRs add a layer of complexity to the already complex delivery of healthcare, leading to unintended adverse consequences, such as dosing errors, failure to detect serious illnesses, and delays in treatment due to poor human computer interactions or loss of data. The electronic health records has had a profound impact on the diagnostic process in clinical practice. Although the benefits the EHR offers are extensive and important, the concerns and negative consequences that they are increasingly identified are also very real and very problematic. The challenge moving forward will be to continue building on the power inherent in digital data and machine-aided storage, sorting and management of information to promote the reliability and safety of the diagnosis by overcoming issues of uh, usability, quickly addressing unintended consequences as they arise and somehow restoring or even promoting the human element of the clinical patient relationship that is so critical to successful uh, diagnosis. Now here, figure, figure seven shows the impact of EHR 
on long-term care facilities. Now, uh, to Dini. Okay, EHR then, now, and future. Initially, EHR were developed and used at a number of academic inpatient and outpatient uh, medical facilities, but none contain all the information in the paper chart, and most EHR today are still uh, a hybrid collection of computerized and paper data. By 2015, large healthcare organization and government agency are recognizing the value of information in EHR to determine optimal patterns of care. So EHR use has increased over time. Technical issues continue to be overshadowed by procedural, professional, uh, social, political, and especially ethical issue and the need of compliance with standard and information security. So the fundamental role and purpose of the ESR in the future will be a data rep repository based on international standard APIs for the retrieval and storage of data. It will be uh, coupled with facility and vendor provided and user selected application for data review and entry and especially CDS. In addition, to have data, social, econo social economic, behavioral, and environmental data will play a vital role in providing and especially improving healthcare. The application will be interchangeable, not dependent on HR version and updates, and will facilitate innovation like the current smartphone application. Okay. <clears throat> So, figure eight shows the evolution of trend uh, of EHR. Okay. The ne next we have um, figure nine shows the percentage of office based physician adopted EHR system in US from uh, 2001 to 2013. Okay. So, I will be passing back uh, to Nicholas for the conclusion. Thank you, Dini. Well, um, the healthcare information technology is changing how the healthcare industry operates and has already began to reduce waste and help improve health outcomes. As nationwide adoption of a fully interoperable uh, EHR progresses, many barriers were identified such as standards and resistant to change could be mitigated. Appropriate training on EHR's use may help with the level of complexity among healthcare providers and their staff. The EHR can approve, improve healthcare productivity and efficiency to better serve public health. Now, uh, thank you for the uh, listening. Here are our references. I thank you to Dr. Suraj and all the participants and uh, fellow friends. Thank you.